ladies and gentlemen. He's performed on The Tonight Show, toured with George Carlin, headlines in Vegas and Atlantic City. He's here for you right now, Mr. Steve Schaefer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys and ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going for all these wonderful performers you've seen tonight. Pretty good, wonderful, huh? Great stuff, great stuff. Am I on my mark? I'm on my mark. Now, it's great to be here. I'm originally from Philadelphia, so it's like coming home. We have Philly folks here. I'm from South Philadelphia, where you have to be at least... Hey, guys, how are you from South Philly? 12th and McKean. I used to get beat up at 12th and McKean. Absolutely. No, my grandmother, uh, Victoria LaJoya, lives at 12th and McKean. That's absolutely true. You know my grandmother? You do? How did that happen? South Philly, you have to be at least part Italian. They don't let you in unless you show your papers. I'm, I'm half Italian, half German. When I was a kid, played war, would attack, then immediately surrender. How about that? There, that's the oldest joke I'd, I wrote that 30 years ago. <laughs> That's right, I had a Catholic education, right? You have to, Stella Maris is my parish. I had eight, oh, okay. Stella Maris, Stella Maris. Your epiphany, right? St. Richard's epiphany, right? I had eight years of nuns, four years of priests, 12 years of therapy, and here I am. <laughs> you kidding, that long ago, the nuns were tough. It's not folklore, they were tough. Sister Ray Leonard, Sister Black and Decker, and a, of course, my favorite, Sister Sledge. I, uh, I, I have to admit, I went to Penn State University. I'm a Penn Stater, I'm a college. College was the best, best seven years of my life. I did, I did that joke in Kentucky, like, oh man, you got out fast. That's right, I'm a doctor in Kentucky. Hardest part of my job is traveling. That's the hardest part, I'm driving and flying. I hate flying, I, uh, I'm always in that seat. I'm always, sitting in that seat in front of the guy that can't stand up unless he pulls down the back of my seat. Do you know that guy? Every time he stands up, he pulls down the back of my seat, catapulting me into the cockpit. I'm nervous and the flight attendant always comes on and says, your seat cushion becomes a flotation device. <laughs> That's awfully reassuring. To me. My seat cushion actually becomes a flotation device. Why does the plane just become a boat? Can't fly and I can't drive, I get a lot of tickets. Got a ticket down south for speeding, I get a lot of speeding tickets. Southern police officer put me to go, son, I said, we go up the hill, down the hill, around the bend, you zoom right by me. I said, uh, what? <laughs> he goes, you heard me. I said, I heard something. I said, we go up the hill, down the hill, around the bend, you zoom right by me. Sir, I apologize. And then they always want to know, how come you're going so fast? I love that one. How come? How come? How come? How come you're going so fast? I said, well, you know, quite frankly, to be honest with you, I didn't see you. <laughs> Believe me, if I saw you, I would have slowed down. I'm not as dumb as I look. I'm down south talking about bagels. You know the food, bagels. They're all looking at me. Finally, I said, anybody know what a bagel is? The guy in the back goes, yeah, bagel. Act a hunting dog. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You got it. I love dogs. I love dogs. How do you not love dogs? We all love dogs. I got to do my dog material. I love it. I love dogs. I really do. I love them. I don't like when people name dogs people names. It's always a little disconcerting. It's a little odd, you know. Here's my dog, Kevin. It's awfully weird. You know? The only thing I don't like about dogs is that they're tenacious beggars, right? You can't have any food within a hundred mile radius of your dog. You got that roast beef sandwich, go in your house, go up a flight of steps, go up another flight of steps, go into the attic, lock yourself in the closet. <laughs> Two seconds later, remember me? <laughs> I'm your dog, and I'm constantly starving. <laughs> then they're in your face for the duration of the meal, and boy, if they could speak. <laughs> right, please, give me a bite, one little bite. Can I have one little bite? Just one little bite. Come on, give me one little bite. I've got to do anyone bug anymore. Just one little bike. And I want little bike. Just one little bike. And I want little bike. Give me one little bike. And I want little bike. Just one little bike. And I want little bike. Just one little bike. And I want little bike. Come on, I can see it. I can smell it. Give me one little bike. Please, 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 please. 
Please don't notice that I'm moving forward. <laughs> give me one little bite. I got the one I won't broke anymore. Give me that bite. That's the bite I want. That one right there. Please, that's the one I want. Please give me one little bite. Please don't notice that I'm moving forward. <laughs> give me one little bite. You will. <laughs> that was great. I lied. I need some more food. Please don't notice that I'm moving forward. <laughs> what? We had a cat, we had a cat for a while. We had our cat neutered and declawed all at the same time. How sad is that? I didn't want to do it. Neutered and declawed. Felt sorry for that cat, because you know he woke up in his cage, like, yo, they took my claws. Now I can't scratch my, hey! <laughs> There's no business like show business. There's no business I know. Oh, I like all kinds of music, all kinds. I like country, I like rap. Put them together, you get crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, you get older, boy. Everything happens, you get older. I get songs stuck in my head. I can't stop singing them, right? I wake up in the morning, hear it on the radio, claws itself to the back of my brain. I'm there all day, I am too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> Somebody punch me in the head. I had a song in my head by a group called Chumbawamba. Remember Chumbawamba? Every time you know, I'll tell you. <laughs> Every time you went to a sporting event, they play, I get knocked down, but I get up again. And you're never going to keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. I get knocked down. Remember the middle part of that song? Peace in the night away. Peace in the night away. Remember at the end of the song? You take a whiskey drink, you take a vodka drink. You take a gin drink, you take a soda drink. That's three completely different songs. It's like the band got together. I got an idea for a song, me too, me too. Maybe we can combine them. I get knocked down in peace in the night. You take a whiskey drink, you take a vodka drink. You take a gin drink, you take a soda drink. Three completely different songs. Then I had Blinded by the Light. Had that one in my head. Blinded by the Light. Dressed up like a douche. Who dresses up like a douche? <laughs> Talk about low self-esteem, huh? Yeah, this Halloween, I'm going out dressed up like a douche. Massengill should be a lot of fun. Yeah, the whole family. We're all going out as pharmaceutical hygiene products. My wife is Preparation H. My son is Crew X. Why? I was blinded by the light. Okay, so I had a birthday last week. I had a birthday. 68, 68. Okay, there you go, huh? 68. 12th and McKean. I look good for 68, don't I? Yes, I do. I look good for 68. You know why? Because I'm 60, that's why. All of a sudden, I look awful, don't I? Weird stuff happens to make you realize you're getting older. The other night, I wrenched my neck while I was sleeping. Okay? How sad is that? Anybody ever do that? Middle of the night, you're asleep? <coughs> oh, shit, what the? Oh, my God, how did this happen? I was, I was sleeping. <coughs> oh! How old, how pathetic, how out of shape do you have to be to sprain your neck while you're unconscious? What could possibly be next? Hey, Doc, I broke my back. I was reclining. <laughs> Getting back into shape. I joined the gym, but I hate going because it's intimidating. You always get that guy who wants you to work out. Come on, come on, me and you, we're gonna work out. <laughs> Don't you wanna be like me? Uh, I got muscles everywhere. Uh, I got muscles in my eyeballs. Look at him. Hey, beep, 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 beep. I can crush your head with my eye. <laughs> Ooh, I'm crazy. Stick out your Adam's apple. I can press 595 pounds. I said, well, I can sleep. How about that? I do, I do that very well. I'm a good sleeper. I'm glad you guys came to laugh. God bless you. So much fun. Everybody laughs. It's universal. I'm tired of people worrying about who, like, laughed. Right? There you go. 
Why is not reinforcing a stereotype? We all laugh. Everyone laughs, right? It's a wonderful reaction. I mean, Swedish people don't go, who, they, who, they, who. They just laugh, right? French people don't go, oh, oh. Okay, French people do do that. French people, they do. Everybody has their own laugh, very individual, different classifications, like the snorter. You're out there, there's always a snorter. I'm a snorter, I tell a joke. <laughs> Tablecloths are swirling around their heads. It's that horse laugh. <laughs> and of course, the James Brown laugh. <laughs> I feel good, I'm gonna jump back, kick myself. Papa's got a brand new man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we left you feeling good. You're a great audience. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. We'll see you again. Good night, everybody.